G'day folks, Mark here again. Um, I, today I want to do a video, uh, another one about um, gun control or the, the gun buybacks and, and new gun laws that are coming for Western Australia. Or as most people who are aware and, and paying attention, gun laws that are coming for right across Australia and across a lot of the, our world is in the same sort of place. Gun laws that are coming in. Restrictions that are coming in. A um, couple of things I want to focus on. Um, one would be the, the, the normal thing that I'm trying to put forward um, to everyone is that this isn't just a gun problem. Um, this, is, this is a government taking control problem. There is, the, there is basically freedoms or rights being taken away from, from people. Um, there are several great books, um, some of them titled with They Came for the Gun First but talking about the fact that gun control is never about public safety. It is always about something else, regardless of what the individuals inside those systems that are causing that might think. It's about bigger things than that. Uh, but it is a complicated thing. Uh, but it, and, and it isn't a straightforward one sided. There's a whole heap of our world that have certainly been convinced through personal experience or through largely through propaganda, through media, through all sorts of things that guns are bad. Um, and there you have a really hard time trying to talk anything other than guns are bad to those people. But the rights being taken away from people are all over our state, all over this country and all over the world. There are all sorts of rights away from being taken away. Whether that's in America or that's the UK or that's New Zealand or that's Australia or that's South Africa or wherever it is. I hear comments from all over the world and there are all sorts of things happening everywhere certainly in our Western world. A little bit less so in some of the Asian side of things. I hear a little bit of the opposite happening, but it's the general set of what we call democracy is um, doing something in a way of taking rights away. Um, and I suppose the first bit that I would go with is I, I truly believe that there should be more action by the people, um, whether that's um, and I suppose protests the way people look at it, but whether there's just meetings or groups or there's, there's um, events or whatever it is, but to actually be out there and let the politicians know that we're concerned about this. But the one thing I would say above all else is, is not that part of it is not about guns. Guns is a very good example of what, um, the, what the governments are doing, what the government and the police force are doing. It's a very good example of the rights they will strip to take away those firearms. But it is just an example. Whether it's your walking through, your access to national parts, whether it's the vehicles you can drive, whether it's the what happens in your school, whether it's the, um, and there's a, a huge amount of things that are talking about, and this is farming and fishing and, and lots of things. You can get involved with the community and you'll find out that there's something, whether that's local government or that state government or that's federal government that are all deciding to control you more. Um, and yes, they will go. There is the, the, the thoughts of 15 minute cities, which is something that has happened around the world. Yes, this is all part of more control. The, the removing farming so they can control the food, the, the digital identities, the digital banking, the all sort of stuff, all about controlling the masses of what there are some parts of the world that really, that really want to make that happen. And I would stress this is, although there is parts of the world that want to make it happen, a lot of the individuals that are driving this sort of thing don't understand that. They, they've drunk the Kool-Aid. They believe that it is about safer, easier, more convenience. They believe all these things truly with not understanding they are, they are delivering a, a Trojan horse. So as for the political negativeness of that, I don't want to go too deep into it. I would say if the people get together, if for the people, by the people, meant the people actually did more, then we would have more control. It's our compliance, it's our willingness to, to do the right thing, to be convinced into this, to accept the convenience, to accept the, the whatever it is that we accept as this trade-off and start to realise that no, we shouldn't be letting those things happen and we should be vocal about it in some form. And I'm not suggesting burning the streets down or suggesting anything other than um, a, a, a tolerable form of letting people know, but do keep in mind the majority of these people that are actually driving this stuff, like they're not, they're not necessarily hell bent on control. They are driving stuff for what they feel is the best purpose, but they also tend to be looking for your vote. So convincing you is a very important thing. 
Um, and I've heard some pretty crazy stories down there too. Some of what our politicians will say to people who don't know, where they will push, certainly in the gun department, say very, very, very invalid things to get more and more of that paranoia as to, in our world, that, that the guns are bad. Anyway, that's that one there. And I really would encourage it really to come from um, everywhere, all the people have to get together. And I suppose that's the bit I'd finish on that. I do hear a lot of whether it's the four-wheel drivers or whether it's the fisheries or whether it's the farmers or whatever it is, is none of the groups really want to get together. Very foolish, a little bit maybe by design by the people that are orchestrating this sort of stuff, but I think it's a little more of this fear of, I don't want to get your bad stuff on me. I've got enough of my own bad stuff. I don't need more bad stuff because that'll make me worse rather than it actually works the opposite. The more these groups get together, it's more, we're the people who are doing it, we are the people. You get together, get more and more people with us and realize that we're all in the same boat and push back as the people, then we'll have power again. But that's something that's really hard to sell for some reason or other. It's the obvious, but it's really hard to sell. Back to our firearms thing, and I suppose the bit I wanna say about that um, my strategy, and whenever I talk to people personally about this sort of stuff, at whatever level I'm talking about it, whether it's as an individual or it's as a group or whatever, whenever I'm talking about it, I always come to something that I haven't really shared or I don't think I've shared on the channel before, but of my thoughts of the, the real answer to the situation. Um, the obvious answer that any firearms owner and certainly a lot of the use guys based in the US that it's the one you should have a second amendment and then you can just they shouldn't they shouldn't register them you should have freedom you're good people that sort of stuff so you should be able to do what you want to do listen I get it it actually isn't the case in America in there's very few states in America that like that the majority are suffering a, a, a small portion of what we are and in some of them past suffering a large portion of what we are it is all over the world this thing uh, and, and I suppose we have to work with what's realistic. Registration, regulations, all that sort of stuff are going to be there to some degree or another. To, to wish them away is not going to make it happen. So, and I suppose the, the most, I, the general thing I hear, there is some smarter conversations about trying to work with inside those regulations and make them reasonable and that sort of stuff. But in all cases, these are an actual fact, I suppose I see it in a perspective of the, the gun guys don't want their guns taken away. And the people who don't want guns don't want more guns around the place. So you've got two loggerheads looking at things through both of them, through their perspective, are plain and obvious. The, the, the anti-gun guy sees guns are bad. They can't see that guns aren't going to go away and that bad guys aren't going to give up their guns. And just giving guns to, the, to your overlords to be able to control you more is a really problematic situation. Power corrupts, absolute power corrupts, absolutely. It will end badly. That, that's a really obvious thing, but they can't see that. To the pro-gun side of things, there's that we shouldn't have regulations and we should be able to do what we want to do. Well, there's places where there's people that really aren't are unhinged. There is environments which it doesn't work very well. And there needs to be some form of regulations. Yes, we should self-regulate, but how do you do that in this world? There is, there is bias to either side of this and there does need to be logic to fix it. And utopia is not a real place, it's not gonna happen. So when you come to that realization, then you do need some form of regulation to do it properly. So if you go to that point and go to the fact we have to do that, what we are doing a lot of, what all gun communities, or um, um, be it in a legal sense or in a personal sense or a social sense, uh, generally trying to resist the stupid regulations that are put on us. In our situation, we have a very good example of exactly the opposite way that it should be done. Our regulations have largely been written up by our police department, by the enforcers. So that is an extremely incorrect way for a democracy to run. To have the people who want to control the law, who, who enforce the law, to write the law, that's a really, really one-sided perspective. Obviously, it's the wrong way to do it. Um, so. I look at it a little bit along the lines of we are looking like the, the kid that's getting his lolly taken away and we, and we don't want it taken away and we're resisting because of that, but we're not actually changing the spectrum at all. I would much prefer to look at it along the lines of the law's been written in the wrong fashion, um, but rather than saying we disagree with the law because it's written in the wrong fashion, all those sort of disagreements to go there is let's provide a better option. Let's, let's provide a better option. Let's get together and not just as a gun community. No, let, let's do it properly. 
don't be any that, that would be seen as and would be just as biased to to put as just the gun community to write it up and yes I, I would argue that our gun community has a lot of smart thinking people in it it's full of lawyers it's full of um, people that understand whether it's lawmakers whether it's law enforcers whether it's caregivers whether it's whatever our, our community is full of all those people so yes we could come up with the right thing but I think we should think even bigger than that it should be not only do it correctly but be seen to do it correctly so if we could get together as the group of and that's just this is actually I'm not even thinking about Western Australia in this sort of format I'm much more thinking about Australia if Australia could get together and we could organize out of whatever that starts off with with one million people who are interested in the conversation ends up with 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 50 people that we give our put our hats into the say listen we want them to be able to put this together and with it not with well as much discussion as it takes but get to a point where we have a set of regulations a set of laws that we've done up that that comes to the fact where it is done with all the right checks and balances it's done where you think it makes sense and i'm not going to try and put forward too much more on, on what it should be I, apart from i would say i would tend to go down the road of the regu the registration side of things that's not going away we got that that's not going to disappear regardless of the good the bad the ugly to go with it it's not going to disappear but to put it to in a in a set of rules that end up where there is a body that has the right and wrong attached to it it's not attached to the police it's not it is it may end up being a part of the government but it's not attached to the political process and it is made sure that it's kept in check by itself to make sure it regulates things properly if you go to where you've got that body controlled where it makes decisions where it controls things I believe that we should go with licensing like everything else in our, else in our world I, th I feel there should probably be whether it's four or whether it's two or it's four or it's a dozen different classes of licenses so you then get to train study pass exams do this the practical test do the test you need to do to get that thing just like you need to do to be a truck license to, to operate a forklift to operate a backhoe to operate a plane to, to to practice law just to be a doctor just like everything else you get a license and once you've got a license then you can do that doesn't have restrictions on how much of you can do that you can if you have a truck license uh, there and you can buy this very big powerful effective extremely dangerous machine you can have one million of them if you want to there's no restrictions on that why would there be a restriction on someone who's licensed to own a firearm if they're licensed and done that properly so licensing properly it also in that little picture turns into where our industry can be part of that where there are training institutes where there are things that go through this process and like i said you have several levels our, our world is looking for leisure time it's looking for things to do it's looking for things to pass and and to gain skills at and all that sort of stuff and to bring that into a body that does that sort of thing i see some real value to it now these are just my perceptions my ideas but i have shared them a lot of the time i don't think i've shared them with you but if we came up with our own laws did that sort of stuff and rather than then going saying well, listen disagree with what you're doing because it's written the wrong way do it the other way what you've written what you've done up isn't effective what we've done up is effective and and come forward where we are putting forward our, our best foot forward rather than the tiger by the tail no we'll stand at the front there with our defense system or with our attack system and say listen no that's not you're not going to do that get back in the cage so anyway that's um that's my thoughts on the subject and nothing more um i feel that it would be a far more um adult way to deal with the situation rather than chasing around behind to come something up front and to put forward something that makes sense then in that situation then you can pick out a law that they or a regulation they've written and say well this this has written like this it can cause this 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 there's all these problems this is what we've put forward and this doesn't have any of these problems far more logical argument to put forward whether that's a court of law whether that's the the public people we're in, in the in the court of of the of the of the public um but something that makes sense in like i said in my way the adult the mature the like we are the better people way of doing things i suppose ultimately i'll i'll um i'll end this on exactly the same thing as i sort of started it i do believe in for the people by the people 
Um, whether democracy is the right way, I don't know to how to, if that's the right thing actually with what democracy seems to turn into and if you do enough reading about it. But I do believe that we should be doing it a lot better than we are. And I do believe it is our governing process that is letting this happen. Um, it's not our police forces as much as individual problems in there. Largely, they're full of people trying to do the right thing. And with the right directions and the right regulations, they will do a better job. Anyway, guys, thank you for checking in. Um, I hope you liked my dribble that time. Um, we'll catch you next time.